just want to know what's next for you. Uh, do you plan on going back to lightweight, staying at welterweight, or trying your luck at middleweight? No, definitely not middleweight. I'm not that big. I, I, I think they weighed me in on the scale. I was like 78, so I just – the weight cut's easy. Uh, I will go lightweight if they call me and ask, tell me if they want to fight for me at lightweight. Yeah, no problem. Uh, they won't. They'll call me and say we want you at 70, but <laughs> whatever. I feel better up here. It's a funner week. So um, ASAP, man, I'd like to get on the, on the nearest card I can, you know, six, eight weeks from now. It would be nice. How much longer do you plan on fighting for? Oh, man, at least five more years, definitely, at least, until, until I just, literally until the USA says no more. And so uh, coming back to your fight with Justin Gaethje, I know everybody was excited when the fight was announced. No, I, I'm still excited for it. Um, are you expecting a war just like we all are? I'm ready for one, but I'm not expecting one. I'm ready for it, but I'm definitely not expecting it. I'm... I'm going in there to make this. Uh, I don't. The guys that go, oh, this is going to be a war. What the heck is wrong with you, right? That so that's the best case scenario. You're going for a war. So the worst case scenario is you probably get knocked out really fast. You know what I mean? My 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 best case scenario is I go in there and I make it look smooth. I make it look easy. I make it look simple. You know? I make him look stupid. And that's what I'm training every day. That's what I train to do. You know, it works out, you know, visualizing it, seeing it. It worked out in, my, in, in the Diego fight. It's worked out a bunch of my other fights. And then if you need to go to war, you go to war. But I don't, I don't, I really don't see that in this fight. I think I have a skill set. You know, no one's really, no one's really seen, seen what I can do. You know, you've seen, seen what I could do uh, five, five rounds on a, on a three rounds training camp. So five rounds on a five round training camp. It's going to be, it's going to be a different story. How do you see this fight playing out? Smooth. I see it playing out smooth. Hit, hitting whatever I want to hit when I want to hit it. Um, you know, frustrating him, making him, making him really guess every punch he throws. He's going to be guessing what I'm coming back with. You know, how I'm going to destroy his leg kicks, how, you know, he throws he throws his punches and he's getting hit before he, he pulls his hand back. You know, as he's as he extends his hand, he's getting hit and, uh, you know, moving around, make it look good, make it look good, it's looking smooth. with the testing procedure at the moment and they're doing their best i'm sure they are but it has too many holes in it one they can only test for what they know let's say someone develops a new performance enhancing drug not using chemicals that they can detect it's that's not going to pop secondly it's it's random testing so they can test you at any time any given moment if you're not home if you're not home when they then when they arrive they give you a warning like that's it and you're allowed two a year two warnings if you're if you're juicing or if you're you're using any sort of peds, you get essentially two get out of jail free cards, which I think is ridiculous. And that's if you get tested. Remember, it's random. You might not be get tested because trust me, I've also noticed that I'm getting much more tested now than I was when I was first in the lower rankings of my thing. It wasn't until probably when I made like top 12, top 15 that I started getting tested at all. So um, so there's that. That's crazy in itself. But then for instance, like which blew my mind was we went to the fight and I got tested as soon as I walked in and you don't always, but I did. After the fight, I went to the hospital to get my hand checked out. They didn't test us afterward because we had to go to the hospital. I don't know if that's a loophole, if they, they just missed it, but it we're not attacking the, the testing agency at, at all. Like do, do not take for what I'm saying is, a, is an attack. I'm just pointing out the loopholes that I've, I've seen in, in my career thus far. Whatever Romero's rehydration plan was, I would like to get on that because he, he looks massive when he from the skeleton I saw the day before to and him missing and it looked like he was gonna die to him hopping back in that octagon was like two different guys. 
and taking headshots. Like, I hit him a lot. And he, he was able to just walk through those shots. Like, whatever he's hydrating on, I would like to know so that I can also hydrate on that because it turns you superhuman just about. Because, like, when I was punching and kicking him, he felt like metal, like, like a dude made out of concrete. It was ridiculous. And I fought him a year ago. And he didn't feel like concrete. For him to make those changes physically and athletically in a year at the age of 40, like I'm, I'm leaving that down to like nothing.